guys, it's Lisa Foyles here with The Game Station. It is Thursday, July 5th, and before we get to the news, guys, I need your help. I have been in a battle with Kirk Hamilton from Kotaku for months over which version of Aladdin is better, the Super Nintendo version or the Sega Genesis version. Now, looking at the games objectively, I strongly believe the Super Nintendo version is a better game. It's a better platformer, it's prettier, it has a better soundtrack, it's Capcom. So come on, if you agree, go vote in Kirk's poll and we'll show that skinny little jerk. Now let's get to the news. Ubisoft is feeling very patriotic. They have announced the limited edition version of Assassin's Creed 3, going for about $120. You're gonna get a 10 inch statue of Connor, a 28 by 48 colonial flag, and a belt buckle with the Assassin's emblem on it. And uh, PC gamers, we love you too. You'll be getting the digital deluxe edition for $65, and that will give you three single player missions, two outfits, two multiplayer characters, and George Washington's notebook. Uh, unfortunately, Nicolas Cage will be chasing you down for it for the next 30 years. It belongs in a museum! Next, have you seen this Halo 4 live-action teaser trailer? That is teasing the new live action marketing campaign for Halo 4. And speaking of that game, my favorite multiplayer maps have always been the snow covered, cool, wintry maps uh, like Snowbound. It's kind of like, I'm gonna kill you, and then I'm gonna build a snowman, and then I'm gonna kill the snowman. So, keeping in that tradition, we have learned of Longbow. It is also a winter snow covered map, and uh, it will support both traditional on foot combat modes as well as vehicle based skirmishes. And we will learn more about that in the next few days at the Rooster Teeth Expo in Texas. Now let's check in with Josh for Indie Lookout. And where is he? There he is. Hi. How's it going? You look snappy today, look at oh, you. Thank you. Your hair looks wonderful. Well, thank you. Now what do you got for us? Uh, three things as usual. First of all, there is a Japanese bullet hell that was just released called Stella Vanity. The game looks awesome and it is so Japanese. Uh, it's very colorful, the action's wonderful, the J-pop music in the background's great. Uh, you can go to the website and get the game. It's a download, however, I don't know how much it costs because I don't know the, uh, the conversion rate between yen and dollars. Uh, and also, I can't read Japanese, so you do need Google Translate to check it out. Uh, but you can download the game and it looks fantastic. Cool, what else you got? Angry Mango has released a game yesterday called Mush for Windows 7 phones for the five people who have Windows 7 phones. Uh, it's a puzzle game and you control this cute little fuzzy creature. The trailer is absolutely adorable. Uh, you can tilt the phone, you can shake the phone, and then there are certain emotions in the game that invoke different special abilities. So uh, you have to use those to solve the puzzle. Looks super cute. The Windows 7 phone people out there, there's a game for you. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Anything else, anything else cute you got for us? Uh, I mean, I think it's cute if you like, uh, I don't know, hot chicks fighting each other and uh, steampunk. Uh, because Skullgirls is going from XBLA to PC. There aren't uh, very many fighting games for the PC, especially indie fighting games. Skullgirls, if you haven't played it or seen it, check it out. The game is awesome. Uh, they call it Dark Deco is the style because it's this dark kind of like art deco mixed with the steampunk world. The game's awesome. If you have a fighting stick or an Xbox controller, slap it into your PC and enjoy Skullgirls. It's great. What do you think about steampunk? Just honestly. I love it. I think I it's great. I love it too. You know, for a while there, I was like, I don't like it because everyone else does. But then I'm like, I think no, it's pretty I, cool. I, I, I have a dream of building a steampunk costume for myself uh, and then having a girl do the same thing and going on a steampunk date. OK, well, we will do that for a remag one day. Just all steampunk. OK. Except Davis, he can't do hey, it. Hey, don't. If you're going to sing it, you better bring it. I'll do it. I've, right, I'll, I'll come through. All right. All right. You guys heard it here. Thank Bye. You. I'll see you soon. All right. Uh, now this is cool. Later this year, Valve will be releasing the tool used to make the Meet the Team shorts. The Pyromaniac one just debuted, actually. Uh, this is a very powerful tool used to animate and cut video together, and it will be in your hands free of charge. And beta signups are still available. Also, Hero Academy and TF2 are teaming up on Steam to feature TF2 Heroes. It will be cross-compatible with the iOS version, and it will be available August 9th. I love, I love Valve. I love all the stuff they're doing. They're even doing stuff with uh, Adult Swim, apparently. But I don't know what that is. Cool journalism, I know. All right, let's check in with Davis for Network News. Davis! Hey! 
Yay! It's going just fantastic. A lot of good things are happening for me. Good to hear. What's going on in the network? Uh, so, so many things. Let's start first off with Anderzel. He actually just recently won a Battlefield 3 tournament, uh, and he put up a video showing all the gameplay. If you ever want to see what high-level Battlefield 3 gameplay looks like, you should definitely check it out. It is impressive. Like, I thought I was pretty good at Battlefield. I would not last a second. <laughs> Alright, start moving in now. Start moving in. Not two dead, two dead. One dead. Got dust, bro. Oh, I'm, go I'm gonna plan, I'm gonna plan. Yeah, go for I'm it, planting. yeah, go, go. Nice, what else? Um, I also want to give a shout out to Mindflame. I'm sure a lot of people know him, but he's actually... He actually streams five days a week, I just found out, and uh, it's great. Definitely check it out. Check out the info box below for a link. And then finally, I want to give a shout out to a, a new channel called Hypixel. It's actually, uh, you may remember an old channel called Theory Movies. Uh, well, this is his new channel. It's all Minecraft themed, so if you love Minecraft, everyone loves Minecraft. It's like Legos, kind of. Uh, yeah. For adults. For kids alike. So check it out. Great content. Very informative, thank you so much. That's kind of it, actually. I lied. I said it was a lot, but we got through pretty quickly. Oh, well, it was an adequate amount. It was good. I'm gonna... Okay. All right, see you next week. All right, that about wraps things up. I hope you guys had a good fourth and didn't blow off any limbs. Uh, but if you did, I hope you use these. I don't often blow stuff up, but when I do, I use John Marston brand fireworks. Be sure to subscribe and follow the Game Station on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Lisa Foyles. Let's get tacos!